Welcome to a new session of Athmos. Today we're going to be playing uh, the game in normal mode, which means that each player receives nine bikes, six cars, and three airplanes, as well as $165 to start. Um, the, the pile of money here represents the, the, the entire pool of money in the marketplace. So it could be the bank, the customers, um, there's no trans direct transaction in, um, between the players. It's always with the uh, with the marketplace with that general pool of money. So to get started, we will roll the dice. Um, we'll go through uh, the game's three stages. Basically, the first one it's the extension stage, uh, the expansion stage, where all the businesses have to be introduced uh, in the tray here. They are. Um, basically inactive their capabilities and they have to be introduced in the marketplace uh, or more specifically on the board uh, in the second stage which is called uh, the restructuring um, we will have to to make some conversions and change the, the uh, adjust the portfolio of Athmos and in the third stage the conclusion we will have to take him off the board and at the end we will count the money and see which CEO was capable of making uh, the most money out of the resources that he or she received initially. So uh, I will explain uh, things uh, as we uh, play along but to, to get started right now we will roll dice and whoever gets the, the, the highest number associated with the indicated area that player moves first. So what we have here is two notches car. That's this area here. So the number associated with that area would be five. I will roll two notches plane, which is this area. So it's eight. So I will move first and I'm not going to roll again. We'll use just that particular uh, move. So I'm introducing a business in this space, meaning uh, it's an airplane in terms of complexity and the perceived value of this business it's two notches um, also something to remember businesses are always being introduced in one of the three cells or positions at the top of each cell so for that I'm gonna pay an investment of eight one notch bike Okay, so that's one. Okay. Three notch bike. That means I am introducing some sort of high end bike in the market. It cost me three. Uh, three notch plane. Okay, that's nine. Um, again, these businesses are represented of this map. Um, along the two dimensions so their level of complexity and the perceived value so when they move downwards um, you can think of them as going through their life cycle every time the, the, um, we are operating these businesses they become more common uh, the profit starts to drop so if, and eventually we have to exit uh, okay so my turn one notch plane so I'm gonna this here it cost me seven okay two notch bike it's two three notch plane so when I'm introducing a business basically I can actually push my opponent uh, if one of her pieces uh, is located on the landing one of the landing cells and it's not blocked I can push it lower this is the equivalent of entering the same market and kind of reducing the the value or the quality or the, the, the perceived value of that product in the marketplace um, okay this is nine one notch bike that's one one notch plane so I don't I introduced all my planes there are only three of them and they're here so now basically 
I'm gonna simply operate this business. So when I'm operating, the product commoditizes, so the value, the perceived value kind of drops a little bit, but I am making a profit of seven. Think of this profit as, as an annual, if you'd like to keep it simple in your mind, it's a, it's a profit at the end of a year of selling these products. Okay, that's three notch bike and I, okay, one notch plane. I'm doing another seven. One notch bike. Okay, so this is the first alignment of the game or the first synergy uh, in business. And as you'll see in this game, uh, this is the, the um, technique in which you make the most of money. So what's happening um, when the three, at least three adjacent pieces come together, uh, you will get a bonus. In real world, this is the equivalent of synergy where businesses, as you can, if you think on this axis of diff slightly different complexities, but because they are next to each other and they're at the same perceived value, they share some sort of resources uh, and as a result, they're more efficient. So they, they make more money holistically to, to that particular business. So in this case, we're gonna calculate uh, the, the um, the bonus as the money from the move, which in this case it's an investment, so it's minus one, and then the money associated with uh, the position of each of the pieces, so it's one plus one plus one, so it's three minus one, it's two. Uh, one notch bike, so now again I can actually if you'd like commoditize my opponent's um, product in the particular market because I'm entering it as well uh, three notch plane Uh, one notch car. So that's four for me, an investment of four. One notch plane. That's seven, an investment of seven. Three notch car. So that's an investment of six for me. Uh, two notch car, that's five, investment of five. Two notch plane, I'm um, gonna operate this business, so I'm making eight. Uh, three notch plane, okay, investment of nine. Three notch plane. So I'm gonna operate this and I'm making nine. Two notch car. Okay, so my opponent made another alignment. Um, as you can see, the, the way we calculate this is gonna be the investment, which is minus five, and then plus five, plus five, and plus two. So that's seven. So this was the the investment is five. Okay, my opponent was asking me why seven. So again, the investment minus the the bonus. So this cancels this out, cancel the, each other out, and then there's five plus two. So that's seven. Um, one plane. So what I'm gonna do here instead of exiting this business, I'm gonna move laterally, which is zero. Two notch bike. Okay, this is an addition to alignment. There were a, at least 
three pieces already in alignment so we're not going to get bonus for those pieces again but there's a bonus associated with the pieces that are being uh, added to to the synergy to this alignment so in this case it's minus two which was the investment to put the piece uh, on the board and then plus two as bonus so zero one notch bike so i'm gonna push this piece and i'm creating an alignment too it's not much but there's uh, minus one plus one so it's zero one and four so i'm making five one notch car Okay, that's an investment of four. Three notch car. And this is six for me as the investment. Three notch bike here. Okay, that's three investment for you. One notch car. So I'm gonna go here again. This is an addition to an existing alignment, which means minus four is investment, plus four as bonus, so it's zero total. Two notch car. Same story, it's an addition to an existing alignment, so it's total zero. Two notch plane. So I'm gonna operate this business, moving it forward. So I'm collecting eight. Two notch plane. You don't have anything in this area, which means that um, my opponent can take another chance, but first there's a fee or associated with this move, which is eight um, and she will roll again one notch bike okay that's new alignment so there's the move which is one and then bonus for each piece in alignment so four total two notch bike Introduce this and push your piece forward. So that's a two investment for me. Two notch plane. Same thing. There's a fee of eight or the number associated with the area and she'll roll again. Three notch car. Okay, there's an alignment there. So a total of six because the, the last piece that was added is basically minus six plus six, so that's zero. Three notch bike. Uh, I'm gonna do this here. So pushing it forward and I have to pay a three. Let me get back seven. Okay. One notch bike. That's one Oper operating product. Um, operating the product again, just just to keep in mind. Um, basically. Um, the 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 value of that product because it's just more and more people are using it the company learns how to make it better um, it just becomes less special less unique so the perceive its perceived value or, or utility starts to drop so it becomes a commodity or, or more commoditized um, three notch car so I'm gonna make an alignment here 
um, this is minus six as, as, as investment, plus six, so there's zero, and then six plus six, so I'm making 12 from this particular action. Uh, one notch bike, okay, there's one operating profit. One notch bike, so I'm gonna introduce that here. It's addition to alignment, so it's not making me anything, but it doesn't cost me an investment either. Two notch car. Okay, that's a profit of five. One notch plane. Okay, that's zero. Two notch car. Okay, so that's an alignment. So there's the move, uh, which is five, and then uh, bonuses five plus five plus two. So it's 17 total. One notch car. Um, Okay, so moving this again, addition to uh, to an alignment, um, I'm I'm not making anything, but it doesn't cost me anything because it's the investment minus four and plus four as bonus. Two notch car. Okay, addition to an alignment, so there's. The move plus the bonus for, for the piece itself, so there's 10. One notch car. Okay, so I'm taking my opponent out and I'm making one. So just a little bit of uh, a break background. So when someone introduces a new piece on the board, you cannot take your opponent out. It's as if you just entered a new market and um, um, the best you could do is pushing it forward or in other words you you commoditize, you lower the perceived value of that particular product. But when you are already on the board and you move forward you can actually take the, the opponent out meaning that uh, or, or the equivalent of what's happening in the real world is that and say your product was already of a higher value and you just dropped the prices so it's as if you squeezed out you you kicked out of the mar that particular market your your opponent two notch bike okay that's minus two one notch plane i'm not exiting with this particular um, business because three notch car for my opponent. Okay, so that's minus six for you. As I said, I'm not exiting with this business because it keeps some piece in that in this particular area, so I don't have to pay penalties if um, I roll uh, the dice. Uh, two car i don't have any cars uh, to introduce and i don't have any cars in this area in, in two notch car uh, which means that i will pay it will cost me uh, five the equivalent of of uh, the number for that area and then i will roll again no more than three times uh, and i just rolled exactly the same thing so the payment basically it's as if I try to launch a business and something happened in that, that area. So it's, it's, it's a cost associated. So when I pay, I'm taking a new chance, but um, it does cost me to, to simply roll. So uh, two notch bike, and I do have bikes here. So I'm gonna, okay, push it forward and it cost me two. Three notch bike. Okay. 
So alignment there, uh, that's three from the move and then three plus three plus six. So that's 15. One notch car. I'm gonna just take you out. And that's a, I'm making a four with that move. Two notch car. Okay, that's five. Profit of five. One notch bike. So um, I'll just move and I'm making one. One notch bike. Okay, that's minus one investment for you. Two notch car. Okay, still don't have anything there. It's gonna cost me five. And then I can roll again, take another chance basically. I'm rolling the same thing. Pay again. I won't be able to do this more than three times. Um, and if that happens, then my opponent will, will roll. Two notch plane. I do have something to move here. So I'm taking out my opponent. Again, as a recap in this game, the moves or, or the, the profit uh, is calculated as the, uh, the number associated with the originating cell, not the destination. So in this case, when I moved forward, uh, I'm making eight, um, not seven. Um, note, notice that my, uh, my opponent has already placed all the pieces on the board, um, but as a rule, we don't enter or, uh, or the, the second stage of the game until both of the players are finishing with, with uh, placing their pieces on the board. So this is, which one was it, this one? So it's addition to alignment, and that means six plus six, 12. Um, three notch plane. So I'm moving forward, taking my opponent out, and I'm making nine. Okay. Uh, my opponent will continue to roll like uh, like me, the two dice, we are still both in the expansion stage. Three notch bike. That's three. Two notch car. Um, okay, so again, I'm paying five. Okay, and I roll again. Uh, one notch bike, so I'm placing this on the board and I pay one as investment. Oh, and there's, where, where did I place it? Oh, oh, okay. This, this was, I placed this one, but it's not addition. Okay, yeah, it is actually a, a new alignment. Uh, I didn't even notice it. So it's one, two, three, four. They're in alignment. You sure is this or was this? Okay, I think it was this. So if it's this, then it's an um, addition to alignment. So it's it's uh, zero. So I'm taking back my. Okay, one car. Um, looks like you don't have it. So you'll pay four and then roll again. Two notch bike. Okay, 
okay so that's alignment right now those four so there's the move it's two from the move and then plus two plus two plus two plus five so that's eight and five thirteen two notch bike okay so now I'm introducing my very last Ophmos from the, the capabilities tray or the inactive Ophmos. I'm introducing it on the board. Uh, I'm making an alignment. So this is minus two plus two as bonus. So that's zero. But then I get plus two and plus two. So I'm getting four. Now, because both players have placed their pieces on the board, we're moving into the second stage of the game called restructuring. Um, what's specific about this game is that we will only roll one dice, one die uh, at our choice every time. Um, that way we get bigger slices of the board in which we can do, we can make moves. The goal here is to adjust the portfolio of businesses or portfolio of Ofmos. So we, we, the easiest way to think about it is that we have to make two um, adjustments or two conversions. Uh, take simpler products out and bring slightly more complex products back, back into the game. In other words, one conversion is going to be we'll take three bikes out and bring two cars in and then take two cars out and bring one plane in. As soon as we bring these businesses in off most and place them on a board then individually um, the players will move into the third stage where the conclusion where we don't roll dice or die at all and we simply have to exit business and make as much like finish to to try to maximize the the cash that, that we've been accumulating so my my opponent right now is going to choose one of the the pieces um, it looks like there's two planes there so she can already make basically one of the conversions two cars for one plane so she has um, two areas that has at least that have at least two cars so she will choose that die the the notch die because that's gonna give her her a two out of three probability of hitting those areas and she did two two notches basically uh, so she's gonna take out two cars and she's gonna bring back in one of the planes in the capability um, capabilities tray and uh, she will have to later on uh, at the, the uh, later turn to introduce that on the board so now it's my turn I don't have here neither one plane or nor two cars, so I cannot make my um, my convergence yet. So I need to make sure that I'm taking out some some of those pieces. So I will go with the notches die. Um, so it's giving me basically a move on in this category. Um, so I'll move this one forward. I'm taking you out, I'm making a two. Okay, your turn. You have now the, the you, you you have two cars out as dead businesses. So you can make the other conversion um, right now. Uh, the only space that has three um, three bikes, it's either this small area or the entire category. So. Okay, so she, she got the, the bike categories. Basically, she can make the, the second conversion. Yeah, take the bikes out and bring the two cars. So basically, she made the two conver mandatory conversions. Now she just have to introduce them on the board. Uh, and as soon as she does that, she moves into the individually into the third stage of the game and uh, where she doesn't have to uh, roll die the die uh, and she can kind of move towards the end of the game um, bikes 
I roll bikes, so basically I'm going to move forward. And there's an alignment here, so it's 1 plus 3, so I'm making 4. Okay, your turn. Two notches. Uh, I'm blue, I'm blue. Oh, 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 okay. Confusing move there. Okay, so I'm being kicked out. She makes five. Okay, so I got two cars now because she took that car out. So I can right now make one of the convergent. So I have three bikes here, three bikes here. I will choose this die. And I got one notch. This will allow me to take out three bikes and bring back two cars. Two notches. She chose to introduce one of the bikes, uh, the cars, so that's an investment of five. Okay, now I still don't have a plane here, which means that I need to take out as soon as possible one of the planes um, so I can make my second conversion. Um, three notches. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce one of the bikes, the cars. Um, so that's minus six plus six from the bonus, it's zero, and then plus six plus six, so I'm making 12. Okay, two notches. Okay, that's minus five, it's an investment of five for you. Okay, so still trying to get that plane out. Uh, okay, looks like I'm not good at good luck there. So I'm going to move this piece. It's making two. Okay, your turn. One notch. Okay, you make four. Okay, so I'm going to try the other die. Uh, just thinking, okay, so I got the plane. Um, I'm exiting basically business, so it becomes it's, it's a dead business, but I'm making seven from the move, and then there's an exit bonus across the board of three. So I'm making ten there. Not only that, but now I'm gonna have the plane ready to to make my second conversion. Two notches. So she made an alignment. There's an investment of eight for the plane. Um, and then bonus for each of the pieces. So it's minus eight plus eight, so this is zero. And then there's five plus five, so she makes um, uh, 10. Now, I'm trying to take out two, or I have to take out two cars to be able to bring back that plane on the, on, uh, in my capabilities uh, tray or inactive Ofmos. Um, and if I would go with the product die, I'm getting these categories. So the only category that allows me to do the conversion would be the car. So that's a chance of one in three. But if I choose the notches, I'm getting these three slices. And I have two cars here and two cars here, at least uh, two cars there. So the probability of making the move, the desired move, it's two out of three. Uh, so it's higher. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, I rolled um, three notches. I'm taking two cars out and I'm bringing um, the plane uh, in my um, capabilities tray. But my opponent has already placed the pieces from the inactive Ofmos, has activated them, the ones that resulting from the conversions. So she won't roll the die right now. So she's already in the third stage. The goal here is to kind of finish the game, exit the, the old businesses, 
um, uh, while still maximizing all the positions as much as, as possible by either making alignment or blocking me from making alignments. But um, right now, she basically, she doesn't have to roll die, so she will move any of the pieces. Um, another thing, yeah, go ahead. I was just about to mention, so that's a six. The other two new moves allowed in, in this stage are um, lateral moves that cross categories. So you can start moving with bikes um, to the right all the way, bring them all the way to, to the, into the plane uh, area. Um, but still, it's good, the, the, these moves will be zero. And then there's upward moves, which cost um, a premium of three plus the originating cell. So it's um, in negative. So it's basically, uh, if you move from here up here, that's minus seven, minus three. So it's minus 10 to move there. Anyway, now it's my turn to introduce so three notches. I will introduce my plane here. It cost me nine. Okay, that's addition to alignment. So it's six plus five, it's 11. Okay. Three notches, and this is car. So I'm going to place it here. That's six for me as investment. And as you can see, now I'm in the third stage as well. So moving forward, neither of us is going to roll dice. And uh, we just have to finish the game and make sure that we we maximize the, the, the accumulated cash. So we can even convert some of this, the, the lower denomination chips into the higher ones, the hundreds. So that's 100 for me. It just makes it easier to count. Okay, your move. That's three, you're making three. Okay, I'm gonna move and take this out. So that's six for me. That's eight for you. And that's nine for me. Okay, that's addition so to alignment, so it's three plus two, so it's five. Zero, as you can see, I crossed the category. So I'm okay, this is alignment. So it's five from the move, and then five, five, and eight. So 15 and eight, 23. Okay, moving this and I'm making alignment as well. So it's two from the move and then two, two, two. So it's eight total. Okay, addition to alignment. So it's five from the move plus five uh, bonus. So it's 10. Um, okay, I'm making six. Okay, um, that's addition, right? So it's two plus two, four. Um, let me change, exchange some of these. Okay, so 
taking another 100. So I have, as you can see, 210 and something. Okay. Um, so this is alignment here, six uh, from the move, and then um, 18, so it's 24. Actually, 20 and four. Okay, that's eight. Okay. So I will Okay, so this is six and four back. That's a five. So the move was lateral, so there was zero there from the move itself, but then we get the bonus for the pieces in the alignment. So it's five plus five plus five, it's 15. Okay. So that's six. That's five from the move. So I'm making a longer alignment here, but it's new because um, there was no at least three pieces, uh, adjacent pieces together. So there are five, so from the move I'm getting six, and then uh, six, 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 so that's 18 with the six from over 24. And with 18, um, was it 42? Okay, so I'm making 42. Okay, that's three. Okay, let me. Okay, my move. Um, so let's do this um, moving. So that's six. I'm gonna get, uh, can, I, can I get some of the cash? I think that we like kind of, is that 10? Okay, so 10, and that's you. So I'm collecting a six. Six, okay. Okay, your turn. Okay, that's five. Six for me. And I can get another hundred. Just to okay, so you got alignment. So that's five from the move. And then with ten, it's fifteen. And with eight, twenty three. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out. So that's five for me. Okay, 
Okay, it's two for you. five for you. Seven. Nice alignment. So five from the move and then uh, four, four, four. So 12, so it's 17. Don't have can I can I get more cash for singles? Just exchange them in the smaller denomination chips. Okay, so I'm gonna take my my six from that earlier move. And you took yours, right? Okay. Um Okay, so this is going to be nine. Okay. Nice, that's zero. So this is nine. Okay, so that's addition to the alignment. So it's eight plus from the move and then seven uh, for, for as bonus, so that's 15. Okay, so let's do this. So this is zero. Okay, that's addition, so it's two plus one, so it's three. So I'm gonna do this as eight. As you can see, I'm trying to kind of maximize, instead of just making a short alignment, I'm trying to bring these pieces here. That way I'm gonna get um, um, more points as, as a new alignment. Uh, and since I, I'm kind of, a little bit of in a dominant position here. Probably it's better for my opponent to rush uh, to to maximize and stop the game as soon as possible. Uh, so I cannot make a lot of points with those pieces. Okay. So that's eight from the move. Okay. That's. An alignment there so it's four from the move then four four so that's 12 and then with seven it's 19. And as I mentioned earlier it was positioned to kind of make a lot of points with this particular move so th there's five points from the move itself and then five 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 so it's 20 and then six 16 so 36. Um, okay, hold on. Thirty and then six. Okay. Okay, that's four. Okay. Um, I could do this, so it's addition to alignment. So basically just by zero from the lateral move, but then 
uh, bonus for the position, so I'm making it two. Okay, that's new alignment, so it's four from the move, and then plus four, plus four, plus seven, so 19 again. Okay, so that's addition to the alignment. So it's four plus four as bonus, so it's eight. Okay. Eight for me. Okay, it's four. Let's change some of the exchange some of the, t the tens into hundreds. So make it easier to count. Okay, so it's ten. I'm taking another hundred. So I have four. So it looks like it's still a close game. My opponent is roughly the same as much as I do. I have like 420 something. Okay, so I'm moving. Okay, so I'm gonna move this and make the alignment. So that's five from the move, plus five, plus eight, plus eight. So it's 10, 16, 26. Okay, that's new alignment, so it's four plus four plus four, four, four so that's 16. Okay, so I will go, okay, I'll go with this. So it's eight. Okay, that's addition, so it's seven plus seven, so it's 14. I'm moving this, that's five. Okay. Let's exit, so four plus three, that's seven. This is five. Um, okay, that's new alignment again. So it's four from the move, and then four, 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 and seven. So 16 and seven, that's 23. in here new alignment so it's eight from the move and then seven seven and four so it's 22 and four 26 so 26 uh, did you make an I missed it so oh okay just that that one um, okay so that's just one and you collected Okay. Okay, so let me move with this. So it's seven, I'm making a seven. Okay. Um, and then that's me moving. And that's four. That's another seven for exit. Okay, so that's new new alignment. So it's seven from the move and then seven, seven, and four. So it's twenty one twenty five. So let's get twenty five. 
five. Okay, alignment, and you move that one. So it's one from the move, and then plus one, two, so ten. Okay. Um, do you mind changing, the, like exchanging those so we can kind of see how much money you have, how close we are? This, by the way, can be a strategy if you want to. You don't want to show your opponent how much money you have. It's, I guess, fair game. Um, here, I'll exchange. Um, hold on. Okay, so I have 500. I think she has 500 something as well. We're very close. Okay, my move, right? So seven. Okay. Okay. Seven is exit. This is another seven for me. Okay, that's seven for you. Four plus three is exit, exit bonus. And now at least I get to make one more alignment because all the, the pieces are going to be left on the board and they don't count once my opponent finishes. So by moving forward, I get four from the move and then plus four, plus seven, plus seven. So that's eight and 14, uh, 22. So I'm making 22. You make seven and the game ends. So let's let's exchange. So I don't know if you have enough. Here, get get another hundred. But you probably won this game. So I have five hundred and what is that? Five and sixty. Five hundred sixty-eight. Five hundred sixty-eight. Uh, what do you have? Five hundred. Five hundred and fifty. What is that close? So five hundred. Okay, let's see. If that, what do you have? Five hundred and sixty-one. <laughs> nice thank you well guys thank you for um, for watching this uh, new session of game Ofmos and we'll, we hope we'll we'll see you um, at the next one thanks again <laughs>